Hello and welcome to the NBA Show Reviews. I am your host, Roman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. And as we head into this episode, a cry echoes across the land. Ooh, delicious. And also joining us today is Sapphire Heart Song. Wait, what episode are we reviewing again? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Seppi, because in today's episode, we are going to do Season 8, Episode 9, Non-Compete Clause. In this episode, Applejack and Rainbow Dash take their friendship students on a teamwork learning field trip and accidentally shows the student how not to work together. So, yeah, um, yeah. That's, that's my reaction, alright? So before we head into the review, first impressions. And Silver, what do you think? Of all the episodes in this season, this is the one that entertained me the least. Oh, really? No. This is my low point for the season. Uh, It makes the two lead characters wholly unlikable and incompetent at the same time. But thankfully, it does make me like the student six more and more. As they all uh, react to their bumbling teachers. But it's never a good sign when you have to make your long-standing cast look terrible to get people to like your new characters. It feels like a forced effort to change viewer perspective. Hmm, I can see that. I can see that. And yeah, to me, if I were to give an excuse to the reasoning why a Rainbow Dash and Applejack always challenge each other to something... See, it's been done in the first season and also in Quest Real Girls. Why not now, right? Yeah, we will jump into that boat later on. Seppi, what about you? Oh boy, this episode. Uh, I'm on the same page as Silver. I hate when like they have to take the expense of two other characters in exchange for the uh, for for a new character. Like you know, make an old character look bad so these guys can look good. And I was bored during the episode. I mean, I saw this back when it had no audio whatsoever. Or not no audio. No, when the uh, leak. Yeah, when it leaked and, you know, there was no visual audio. So it was kind of fun to go back and see, like, oh, how'd they uh, change the cues and whatnot. But it just wasn't a fun episode. I wouldn't go back to this. All right, I can understand, I can understand. And as for me... This episode was okay. It won't be in my top 10. When I first watched it, it was rather entertaining. I do like the dynamic with Rainbow Dash and Applejack competing with each other. We haven't seen that in a while now. But I think they push it to the extreme with this one where they're hyper-competitive and they're risking lives. So that's not good. And oh, there's a twist near the end where I, I kind of enjoy that twist, but it was kind of, yeah, I, I see what you're doing here. It's been done in other shows, so yeah, nah. But anywho, uh, if you guys have not watched this episode yet, pause the episode here and go watch it first. Welcome back. How do you like it? Do you agree with what we initially said? Yes, no? So anywho, uh, let's hop on to it. And in this episode, we start off with our lead character, Rainbow Dash dashing through the school, heading to Twilight's office to know who is the teacher of the month. And um, when looking at the, what you call this, wall of photos, like what, there's, uh, what, is it nine? Yep, nine months of Fluttershy being teacher of the month. Yep, so wait, it's true what you said, Silver? Uh, time in Equestria is wibbly-wobbly. Wibbly-wobbly, time in wibbly but I cannot fault that they voted Fluttershy best teacher. Truly, these are enlightened students. True that I, I would have thought Rarity would be up there, so would Pinkie Pie because of how fun she can be with. Yes, but she's bonkers, and Fluttershy offers that sweet stability. Mm-hmm. Er, yes, favorite pony is best teacher. Ha ha. Yeah, yes, yes, take that, everyone on the internet. Even though you, I could, I'm not that invested. <laughs> yes, but take that still. Yes, am I happy? I don't know. <laughs> you are. You are. But anywho, uh, let's reel it back for a bit. So everybody's in Twilight's office waiting to waiting for the announcement of who is best teacher. And like Silver mentioned, it's Fluttershy. Yay, go Fluttershy. And yay, uh, Applejack and Rainbow Dash are kind of t- 
tilted or salty. Dare I say peeved? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anywho, uh, Twilight announced that, hey, um, for the next lesson plan, I want to do another project, and that is field trip. Yay, that will be awesome. Uh, teamwork, field trip, and whatnot. And Twilight mentions this responsibility should go to the teacher of the month kind of pony. But before she could, well, announce the pony, Applejack volunteers herself, so does Rainbow Dash. And Fluttershy kind of speaks and says, um, why not the both of you? And Twilight says, that's a good idea. What could go wrong? Everything. Meanwhile, Discord's off in the corner, just sort of ringing his hands. Oh, I've taught her so well. She's spreading chaos <laughs> on my behalf. Yeah, but I do like the line from Pinkie Pie. Twilight says, of course, who better to model the importance of working as a team? Pinkie Pie says, um, Rarity? Fluttershy? Me? Spike? This flower pot? That's a pinky disc right there. She had a point. She even knows that you should not put Rainbow Dash and Applejack together in a room. They are hyper competitive. It's been out there, I think, what, in Equestria Girls, they were competitive with milkshakes. And in, what was that season where they were standing still with bees? What the hell was that episode called? Oh, that was season four. Oh, season four. Right, but still, it's there. Their competitive streak is still there. Even in the recent comic, it's still there too. Which recent comic? The one where with the grannies? Yeah, uh, issue 70. E. Writers like that um, dynamic with them. It works, but in this episode, it doesn't. So anywho, um, comics aside, we move on to the field trip. Yay! So Twilight brings the student six, which I find it confusing because why the six are so special that they get their own field trip? Well, they are. many of them are representatives of other co- countries. True, but it's not fair. <laughs> maybe it's me. I don't know. Maybe it's the show. Maybe maybe it's the show. You know, uh, we need to highlight the main star character. That's why you have Angel Grove and those teenage with attitudes. Although, Norman, are you trying to say that all students should be treated purely equally? Starlight Glimmer would like you to attend her class on uh, cults. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just that why this... Six, because, okay, usually when you have a field trip, it will be a class, pro- probably, what, a class of 40 or something like that? Who knows? I don't know. We've been field trips, right? No? Oh, yeah. Lots of field trips. Yeah. How many people were there? There. Oh, yeah. It's the whole class. Yeah. Unless it's like special service projects where then it was just a class of six or so or smaller. Yeah. yeah. Let's, just, let's just say this. They're special. All right, then. So, oh, they're special. Yeah, they're special. So, anywho, uh, as we roll on, we get to see Twilight introduce the lecturers for the class. And that's Professor Applejack and Professor Rainbow Dash. And from the get-go, they're already arguing, they're already fighting and stuff, and they want to do their own things. Applejack wants to build an apple shed, and Rainbow Dash wants to go river rafting. And Twilight says... Yay! Two projects one day. Much value. Yay. All the time, good job. Happy face. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Um, first up is Applejack's apple shed building. And yeah, building sheds. Like, this is a teamwork kind of situation where I find it rather entertaining. Working with my hands is one of those things where I highly enjoy. And I find this rather fun. And Rainbow Dash just lets it off because, ha, uh, building Apple Shed, that's so boring. Uh, this is just remedial book. Uh-huh. You're just um, using the students as slaves for your Apple Shed building. Haha. <laughs> well, it means she can't shed a tear for them. Haha, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, you and your puns. It's me and my puns and the, and the scene of them being... Um, it's one thing that uh, Rainbow Dash doesn't want to participate, but she's actively sabotaging... Uh, Applejack as well. I won't say Rainbow Dash is purposely sabotaging um, Applejack. It's how to put this. It's Rainbow Dash's um, characteristics where she's impatient and building a shed takes a lot of patience. Like Applejack says and a lot and a lot of carpenter says, measure twice, cut once. And that's a the reason there because you don't want to waste assets. 
Well, Rainbow Dash be all like, oh, you can kiss my assets. Let's get this done fast, fast, fast. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, fast you did. And yay, the boss shed is okay. Yeah. I mean, it won't pass the, what you call this, uh, safety inspector, but it's done. Now, here's a side question for everybody. Who looks the cutest in the hard hats? Oh, man. That's, that's oh, man. Oh. Uh, if you're talking about cute, Ocillus. Ocillus looks cute. Really, I'm inclined to. I'm inclined to vote Silver Stream. Silver Stream. Same. Oh, all right. Silver Stream is adorable. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Ocellus is adorable as well, but eh, I guess I'll vote Silver Stream, if only to be hipster Griff. All right. I mean, um, it's all, it's all good. You're, you're talking about like cuteness, like uh, Scorch. What's the name? Was it or was it Scorch? Oh, uh, S- Smolder. Smolder. Yes, yeah, Smolder. Smolder's okay too. Of course, Yona's got the horn sticking through, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. It's so, like, do you get that custom made, or did she just, like, po- punch a hole in them? And if, if that's the case, is she willing to pay for that? Uh, Princess of Friendship did it for her. But, yeah, so after the shit project was kind of demolished by Rainbow Dash, because, yeah, uh, because of her impatience, the roof of the shed uh, dropped. Yeah, so, yeah. That's not good. Most parties seek to raise the roof. She brought down the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So with that done, uh, it's now Rainbow Dash's turn. So river canoeing activity. Yay. And oh my. Um, Rainbow Dash here is a jerk. And this is one of those episodes where I have a problem with Rainbow Dash here. It's not uh, out of character or whatever it is. Like what you mentioned, Silver, about raising a character and then dropping them down just to make them look bad. Now, th- this is not that for me. Like, this here specifically is about safety and Rainbow Dash throwing that out the window. Well, <laughs> and it is funny now that she's a Wonderbolt. We'll fast forward a little bit uh, this season to washouts and suddenly then she's very safety conscious. Here's your lesson, class. Try to be Scootaloo from, more on, from now on. Or you could say that yep. she learned her lesson. One could only hope. Yep, yep. So, like I mentioned before, my problem with this scenario here is Rainbow Dash didn't take the time to listen to the students because Yona here does not know how to swim. And yeah, even though she had the life jacket and whatnot, there's always a chance that something bad might happen. Knock on wood. But uh, hindsight, we know what happened. So we're not going to talk about it now. So anywho, these students are in the boat and... They're learning how to stroke the oar and whatnot. And Rainbow Dash's style is fast, 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 while Applejack's style is slow. Get that rhythm. Make sure your technique's all good. Yeah. I am a leaf on the river. Watch me flow. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, the (gasps) main trick is to go with the rapids. So why they didn't do that is beyond reason, I guess. I guess the students aren't up to rapid learning. <laughs> Silver cool, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, tip your weights down. <laughs> yeah, but still, this scenario here where, okay, uh, once everybody's on the same page, which is listening to Rainbow Dash, they go fast. They they, 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 got, they got to go fast. They got to go fast. And yeah. Uh, got to go fast. Gotta go fast. Got to go faster, 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 faster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you remember. Yeah, yeah, no, I, re- See, I remember. That's why I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool and hip and jiggy with it, yo. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. So, anywho, um, as they row the boat, there's a intersection. To the left, there's, what you might call this, a piranhas? What do they call them? Oh, uh, not piranhas. Uh, there was a special, there was a special term for them. I don't remember what was it called, but I'm going to call them Piranha until you update me or correct me, Silver. Oh, I, I see. Put it, put it all on me. You, you ch- Why are you putting all this pressure on me? You're checking me? the tra- transcript. I'm moving the show along. Oh, I see air. I'm checking the transcript. Air, look at me. I'm so- <laughs> okay, they're called Bidacudas, Mr. Smarty Pants. <laughs> Bidacudas. All right, thank you. So, Bidacuda. Uh, that's a creative name. I like it. So, the Bidacudas... So, where was I? Okay, uh, to the left there's Bidacudas, to the right is Safe Passage. 
And Rainbow Dash wants to go to the Bidakudas because you gotta go fast. While Applejack wants to take it safe and safe and slow because safety and whatnot. And yeah, they didn't pick one or the other because um, the students are waiting on the lecturer's conclusion to go left or right. So yeah, they smack right into the middle and all of them are floating to the right. So that's good and safe. No bite of kudas for them. Unfortunately for Yona, her life jacket got snuck to a branch and ripped. And now she's drowning. Great job, Rainbow Dash. Great job, Applejack. I hope you're happy. And the fact they don't do anything, but they just watch. I know. I mean, that's... That's probably the cardinal sin of this. Th- these are two of the most action-oriented ponies in the whole show. And yet they're just floating there watching while uh, Ocellus and Silverstream, you know, call upon the sea ponies when you're in distress. Doo-bee-doo-bee-doo. Except they're not being psychopaths pushing her down. <laughs> the sea ponies did that. Megan and Firefly, was it or Applejack? I forgot. Yeah, it's Applejack. It was Applejack. Yeah. Megan and Applejack were yeah. in a bubble. They're safe. You do not push a bubble down deeper into the depths it was, while you're trying to save someone. It was a musical That's just number. Sadism. No, they're, they're, don't let the eyes fool you. They're sadistic little monsters. Uh, you take that back. But anywho, they, uh, I would not take that back. <laughs> they float ashore. And yay, uh, the student says, Yay, we almost drowned, hit Mistress Twilight. Yay! And Twilight ain't happy about that. She pulls Applejack and Rainbow Dash aside and schools them. And oh my goodness, this is not good. This is not good. We should make a game out of this. It's time to play. What would Twilight do? Ooh, I like this game. All right, contestants. Your first option is A, take control of the field trip herself. B, Assign it over to the teacher of the month who clearly deserves this. Or C, turn things over to the two teachers that nearly got a student killed. Hmm, you know what, Silver? I'm going to pick C because that's the responsible answer. All right, we've got one for C. Sefi, what's your answer? My answer is B. Sefi, it sounds like you have a cold. All right. We have uh, one for C. Judges? That's right. They're laughing at how stupid that choice was. And yet it's the correct one. Yay! Because this is stupid. Well done, Norman. What did I win? You know what Twilight Sparkle would do. Yay! Yay. And as a prize, you you get to watch the decimation of the, the main six's uh, competency for the rest of this episode. Yay! I feel proud. <laughs> so far, you broke me. So- yes. Wee-oo. Wee-oo. But yeah, th- this is the critical thinking of Twilight. But at the same time, too, the <laughs> teachers where um, Rainbow Dash and Applejack promise that they'll be uh, on their best behaviors. And this is the part where I totally hate it. Like, it's one of those scenarios where, uh, where, oh no, I like your idea better. You should, we should go with your idea. No, we should go with your idea. Oh, your idea is much better. This is almost similar to the ending of the final map uh, quest. Remember where Twilight and Fluttershy? Uh, oh, the, the Hooffields and the McColts? Yeah, I remember that one. Because where I, I think near the end where they were uh, agreeing like once being the be- bigger pony and they were almost fighting over it. But that was a joke kind mm-hmm. of situation. I don't remember... Wait, you're talking about where Applejack and Fluttershy were with the Kieran, yeah? No, 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 no. This was uh, with right. the map where Twilight and Rainbow Dash, the hoof feels in the McCults. Or it could be because no, of... No, that was Fluttershy and uh, Twilight. Yeah, that's what I said. But anywho... Um, yeah, you said, you said Rainbow Ra- Dash and oh. Twilight. Rainbow Dash and Twilight was with uh, the the one episode where uh, Vapor Trails appeared. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, uh, my mistake. But still, it's one of those scenarios where they were fighting, and then, you know what, in the end, everybody was um, happy with each other. They were... Uh, getting along and then suddenly oh uh, why don't you take the last piece of the pie oh no no you should take the last piece of the pie and then we're fighting over it it was I think it was done for comedic effect and whatnot 
but it's, in other shows it was done the same thing too. I'm not remembering any of those scenes. Oh, it could be my I'm confused. It could be just my brain. But still, I this is one of those scenarios where I hate it. I hate this a lot. In terms of a trope, this is one of those tropes where I do not like it. Well, sir, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. But anywho, the next task or the next trip is a nature walk. In all honesty, Fletish, I should have taken over for this one. Yes, let us walk on nature. Let us stomp it beneath our various appendages. Uh, yeah, no. Doom to nature. Walk upon it. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> oh, no. But anywho, um... I should be the teacher. Oh, no. But anywho, once the group are at a intersection or a fork on the road, they are deciding to go left or right. And Applejack couldn't decide or <laughs> once deciding, like, Let's just say that they couldn't agree on a direction while trying to play nice with each other. Yona was fed up and Yona took charge. And everybody's following Yona. I wonder why. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Yep. Yona charges. Although, Yona also gets some sweet, sweet karma. Yeah. Because, it, because his rainbow and Applejack get stuck with a little pro- suggestion from Gallus. She gets to bash them in the tushes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all the ship fix ensue. Yeah. Oh my. But anywho, carrying along, they got lost in the woods. Yep. They've passed around a certain rock a few times now, and they're lost. And I do like that um, Scooby-Doo reference thing that they do. That was a lot of fun. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Oh, that's a pup named Scooby-Doo. Oh, no. mm-hmm. but, this is the franchise that never ends. <laughs> yeah. Well, anywho. Um, they come to a dead end and they see a ravine and a small nurse flies up to see what's up and she sees the castle of friendship and the only way to go the ASAP before sundown is to cross the ravine by, well, just to cross the ravine. And the teachers couldn't decide uh, either to make a bridge out of rope or twigs. And yeah... The students are fed up by this, and yeah, you, you could just imagine how terrible this is. This is not looking good for the teachers. The students are just back there looking at the chaos happening, and yeah, it's chaotic. Well, it's all chaotic. Chaos incarnate. What can I say? I mean, it's just these two acting like bozos, and you're not getting to see a lot of the, the students really showing their best. There was moments, like rescuing Yona... Or Gallus just having a breakdown and saying, look, I'll just fly us over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but no, we have to build the bridge. Yeah. We're, we're coming up on the, be- the best part for them. Uh, why don't you say the best part, Silver? Well, with, the, with Rainbow and Applejack just getting thrown down and now dangling like some... Honestly, it kind of looks like a teabag setup. Oh, yeah. You know... There's the water below there, the tea bag. If they go dunk, then all the flavor goes out into the water, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, well, but still, the Bairakudas are there, and yeah, they ain't good. So, in between what Silver mentioned, uh, the Twig Bridge collapsed onto Applejack's Vine Bridge, and they're dangling there. And tea bag. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and the student six saved them by Osiris being a distraction by being a very huge Pythacuda. And the other flying students carrying the tea bag across the ravine. Yay. And then scaring the bejeebus out of uh, Gallus, which is just a little fun for the guy who tries to act too cool for school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rawr. So in the end... Rawr. <laughs> So, so in the end, the students arrive at the castle and report to Hitmare Twilight and saying that, hey, Hitmare Twilight, the field trip was fun. We got to learn a lot about teamwork and how not to do what our lecturers did because they showed us the opposite. It was a brave move by them. <laughs> we sure did learn a lot. Yeah, they're just being nice. <laughs> Still. Friendship is magic. Yep, yep. And upon hearing this, Twilight is very impressed at the students and dismiss them. And Twilight just says to Applejack and Rainbow Dash, "You were too. You two were fighting all along, weren't you?" 
Yep. 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 We're terrible teachers. And here's the the clincher that as they start arguing again, it's kind of like we didn't learn anything. Yep. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along, except I wasn't. Oh, boys. But anywho. Oh, but oh, uh, did, did any of you guys remember the last line that Applejack says? Like, uh, we live in the same town or something like that? Uh, well, transcript is still open. The very last line by Applejack is, you were more like Fandangling. Oh, I think it was. No, okay. Uh, look, we all live in the same town here. So, Sparkle, you were actually... To tell the truth, yeah, well, not all the time. I agreed with you on the whole nature walk. Only because you were angling for that Teacher of the Month award, Twilight Groans. Apple, Rainbow Dash, you were the one doing the angling. Applejack scuffs. More like the fandangling. Here we go. The, the transcript has a weird format. What does that even mean? No one here can understand your country bumpkin talk. Applejack, look, we all live in the same town here. <laughs> yeah, I face the credit. That, that was really funny. Like <laughs> uh, That last line there was really funny. Uh, and and credits, so yeah, episode ends. So, oh boys, this is one of those episodes where, hmm, yeah. So anyway, let's go to final thoughts. Before we get to final final thoughts, here's the uncomfortable part. A lot of people I've seen online, which may not be the majority, but it's just a very vocal set. They've been pointing to this to show how Naysay's criticism was correct, and that Twilight's school is basically a flop. I mean, after all, the teachers are being irresponsible. The students are being put in danger. Granted, they're not ponies, ergo, they say wouldn't give a fig. And here's the thing. Twilight School is in what I call the void of, of positivity. Meaning that you, most of the time, I think we're meant to assume that things are going along swimmingly. And we only get to check in when things go, well, bad. Mm. Princess Celestia has been in this void for, what, eight seasons? Mm. This is season eight, so I'll say she's been in it for seven seasons. Yes. yes. But that, that's the problem. If we only check in when something's going wrong or t or characters are failing to live up to their uh, goals, then we have no positivity to reinforce this idea. You can assume it all you want, but that's the danger with uh, off-screen activities. True, true. <laughs> As they said in Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, now my, if it didn't happen on screen, it didn't happen at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if your balls didn't drop on screen, we could assume they never happened. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. Nice comeback, mine. But no, nah, I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Uh, the, the mindset about... Sorry, first things first. Naysayers' ideology of how the school is meant to be ponies only irks me. It, it enrages me. Like, I do not agree with that sentiment at all. At all. Like, no. Nah, bad bad things here. Bad. You That's sh racist. Yeah, thank you, Seppi. And the characters here should work together and whatnot. And to your point, Silver, of about um, we only tune in for the bad parts, I do agree with that because it's been nine months since the school has been around. And if you want to be very meta, it's on episode nine. So each episode could be a month. That's a scary thought. Yeah. So, in all honesty, we could be joining our characters on, well, every month. Like, this episode, this month. What are the chaos? So, yay. In all honesty, Nera gonna go on a weekly expedition where something bad or some friendship problem is gonna happen on a daily basis. No matter what Sweetie Belle says. Well, why not? I mean, the Magic School Bus did it. Magic School Bus. Oh, you're referring to the original or the Netflix one? Uh, I'm going to say the original because I haven't seen the Netflix. Then again, I haven't watched the original. <laughs> oh, you. But anywho, but anywho, I'm reeling back a bit. This episode was okay. But anywho, final thoughts, final thoughts. Silver. <laughs> <laughs> that bad, eh? Like I say, my low point for me this season... It's hard to find redeemable traits. The student six get to show their best in certain instances, and that's the saving grace. But Applejack and Rainbow Dash, who don't even ha have the humility to learn from their mistake, that's the downer. When, when a character goes through all that and doesn't emerge stronger or better on the other side, 
then you feel like you the time you've invested in this story didn't pay off. And, you know, they're trying to be funny. Oh, here they go again. They're so wacky. But you're like, no, they nearly got someone killed. At this point, I think they... Uh, this episode makes a strong argument for why they shouldn't be teachers and why Fluttershy reigns supreme. Wait, that's the best part of this episode. It shows that Fluttershy reigns supreme, yes. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Why uh, Fluttershy is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all hail Fluttershy. Don't need any other teachers. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and Seppi, what about you? Well, you, you really want my thoughts? Yeah. Point to Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, except for the Fluttershy Reign Supreme. The blaspheme? He <laughs> he <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boys. Well, anywho, anywho. Uh, I just wasn't really all that entertained. If anything, I was just facepalming the whole time. It's like, why? Why do you do this to me, show? I want to like these two, but you're not letting me. Oh. I've never been a Rainbow Dash fan, honestly. And while I can appreciate the aspects that Silver has pointed out in a uh, previous video where Rainbow Dash was celebrated, yeah, this was not a high point. I I I, I keep remembering why I don't like Rainbow Dash, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, and this is why. All right, then. All right, then. And as for me, this episode was okay. Would I say that I hate it? No, no. This is. Full, how do I put this? I like all Pony episodes. It's just that how much I like them. And in this scenario here right now, it's a low point for me. I, I don't dislike it, but I don't find it entertaining. It's okay. It's one of those things where, oh, we get to see the Student 6 interact and have a lot of fun. The Student 6 here are shining, as they say. While Rainbow Dash and Applejack are kind of getting this, and this brings back to what Silver mentioned before, where um, bringing down certain characters just to make other look good. But in this scenario here, I don't think that the writers were doing it on purpose. Mm, but still, uh, that's my opinion. And if you have your own, write it down in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them and see what you guys have to say. But anywho, Silver, what are we going to do next week? Well, we're going to wash wash away the bitterness of this episode with something a little different. And even lo a franchise that could give My Little Pony a run for its money. We are going to talk about Pokemon, the third movie. Oh my! Why not the first? Because that one was silly and had a really dumb message to it. This one is much better. Oh, yes. oh my, okay. My childhood, no. though. Oh, my. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Um, Look, speaking as a child of the 80s, where the, your childhood gets steamrolled many a times, uh, I think you can endure. Yep, yep. My critiques. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anywho, that will be next week's review. We are going to look at the 2000... No, 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 the 2000... Was it the 2001? I forgot. But anywho, uh, we're going to look at the third Pokemon movie. Yes, The Legend of the Sp Unknown. Spell of the yeah, Unknown. Sorry. Legend yeah. of the Unknown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Lord of the Unknown Tower in some other country. Yep, yep. Anyways. Yeah. But anywho, that will be next week's thing. And on, and that episode, there is a Patreon sponsor. And yeah, because Seppi is back with us, we're going to do something that she likes. If you guys want to know why she likes the Pokemon, just check out her DeviantArt. It's obviously there. But anywho, before I say anything more, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Or you can find me on many a place. You can find me on the YouTubes under Silver Quill. I'm also part of the Reviewer Roundtable, which is another episode discussion where I make barbecue sauce fetishized somehow. What? Hey, you're going to have to watch the video. And you can also find me on the DeviantArt, where I do Pinkie Pie Says Goodnight uh, every week, leading before up to a new episode. And don't worry, those are quite family-friendly. family, family friendly. Yes. Uh, I am also doing reviews on Equestria Daily in written format for every comic, every every new comic and old, every Wednesday. 
And my goodness, uh, I'm out of conventions for the year, but I will give a shout out to Ponyville Cider Fest, which is coming up at the end of October. And I strongly recommend people check it out. Ah, that's cool. And Sefi. Yes? Where can we find you? So it's right here now. Hi. You can find me on DeviantArt at Anime Christie or on Twitter at Anime Christie or even on Twitch as Anime Christie. Haha, <laughs> no space in between Anime and Christie. Link will be uh, in the description below, I'd hope. Right, Norman? Yeah, yeah. I'll be putting it in the show notes. Yes, yes. Also, buy me a coffee because I like my coffee. Yay. It's only $3. You, you can give me some of that coffee, right? Right? I hope so. And also, this is Crying Radios on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icons to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVerLive.com. Also, do subscribe to this review and discussion podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, we'll review the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and anything between. Uh, you hear this, guys. We are going to review the third Pokemon movie. So that's rare for us. I, I, I got a strong feeling... Words will be said about said movie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My childhood. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, anywho, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I like to thank Master of Leg, Jeffrey, Tristan, Lurker Cat, Charles, Starstream, Lucky Knight, and also Amy. Thank you guys for for supporting us and stay awesome so anyway i have been norman sanzo i am cecile vacril and i've been a safi and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the mbs show see ya adios bye bye so who wants to compete with me on stuff no yes We'll have an inappropriate off. Let's see who can make barbecue sauce the most inappropriate thing oh, ever. Oh, yes! I can do it! It's like, hey, baby, you want to check out my KC Masterpiece? I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs>